Jesus Christ. Today we are going to talk about what is Christmas. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came on this planet Earth 2000 years back. He was born of a Virgin Mary and he is the savior of the world. And he came and he suffered and he died for your sins and for my sins. That without Jesus Christ no man can go into heaven. Because his word says that in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6 that I am the way, the life and the truth. And that's where Jesus Christ came for mankind, for everyone he has come. He has come for you and for me, my brother and sister, that without Jesus Christ, that we are lost in this sinful world. And that is all about Christmas. Is Jesus the center of your life? If Jesus is not the center of your life, it is time for you to accept him as a Lord and a Savior. Though they want to celebrate the birthday of Jesus, but you need to know one thing, my brother, that you want to celebrate your birthday. And the actual verse delay is that when you give your life to Jesus. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 5 that it says unless one is born of the spirit and water you shall not enter the kingdom of God. Because at your birthday the Bible says that the angels in heaven rejoice when you give your life to Jesus. And that is the actual what we need to celebrate. My brother, my sister, because many people do many things and try to please people. But we are here on this planet earth on one mission is to please God. We are here to honor Him because the Bible says that whoever honors me, I will honor. It is time for you to set your focus upon Jesus because you need to know that we are at the end of days and any moment from now that Jesus is coming to take the church. It is not enough that if you alone are saved, what about your friends? What about your relatives? Because life is not guaranteed on this planet earth. Any moment from now, anything can happen. Because life is not sure, my brother, my sister. Anytime Jesus come, come. He says, behold, I am coming very soon. Are you ready? Are you preaching the gospel? Are you telling about the love of Jesus Christ? Because you know, the Bible says that the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are very few. My brother, it's high time to tell about Jesus to your colleagues, to your friends, to your relatives. Sir. And you need to tell them that Jesus Christ loved them. And that's what we need to know by demonstrating his love on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood for you and for me. Because he doesn't want you and me to land up in hell, my brother, my sister. Because the entire plan of God is for us to reach heaven. And that's why he has prepared a place for each one of us. It is time now to go and tell the world that what Jesus has done in your life, that Jesus is the Savior, he is the Messiah, and he is the soon coming King. No more he is coming as a babe in the manger, but he is coming as the King of King and the Lord of Lord. And the Bible says that every eye will see, every eye will look at him for who they have pierced. We see this prophecy being fulfilled, and that's all about Jesus. It is high time, my brother, to tell them the truth, because only the truth will set them free, my brother, my sister. Are you telling them the truth? Are you telling them about the love of Jesus Christ? Do you, are you telling that Jesus loves each one of you? My brother, it is time to come back, and that is the actual Christmas. Or without Christ. That's why Paul says, oh, I thank God for my the undescribable gift. What was the gift so undescribable that Paul was mentioning in the book of Corinthians? Because when he had an encounter with Jesus, his life was totally changed. Today, when you have an encounter with Jesus, when you have a revelation of Jesus, your life will change. You will not be the same. And that's what God wants from each one of us. Merry Christmas. God bless. Amen.